It was a dark and stormy night on Christmas Eve. Santa was flying his sleigh over the Rocky Mountains, trying to avoid the lightning and the wind. He had just delivered the last present in Colorado and was heading to Wyoming when suddenly a bolt of lightning struck his sleigh. The sleigh spun out of control and crashed into a snow-covered forest. Santa was unconscious and bleeding from his head. The reindeer were unhurt, but they were scared and confused. They tried to wake up Santa, but he didn't respond. They looked around and saw a sign that said Yellowstone National Park. They realized they had landed in a remote and dangerous area where wild animals and geysers could pose a threat. They decided to call for help using the emergency button on the sleigh. The button sent a signal to the North Pole where the elves were monitoring Santa's progress. They saw the red alert on the screen and panicked. They quickly dispatched the North Pole Emergency Sled, a high-tech vehicle that could fly faster than the speed of sound. They hoped they could reach Santa in time and save Christmas. Meanwhile, in a nearby ranger station, a park ranger named Jake was getting ready to go home. He had just finished his shift and was looking forward to spending Christmas with his family. He was about to leave when he heard a loud noise outside. He looked out the window and saw a bright light in the sky. He thought it was a meteor, but then he saw it was heading towards the forest. He grabbed his radio and his flashlight and ran to his truck. He drove as fast as he could to the crash site, hoping to find survivors. He arrived at the scene and was shocked by what he saw. He saw a sleigh with eight reindeer, a pile of presents, and a man in a red suit lying on the ground. He couldn't believe his eyes. He had found Santa Claus. He checked Santa's pulse and found he was still alive, but barely. He called for backup and tried to stop the bleeding. He also tried to calm down the reindeer, who were snorting and stamping their hoofs. He wondered what he should do with the sleigh and the presents. He knew he couldn't leave them there, but he also didn't know how to move them. As he was thinking, he heard another noise in the sky. He looked up and saw another sleigh, but this one was sleek and shiny, with jet engines and a red cross on the side. It landed next to him and two elves jumped out. They were wearing white coats and carrying medical equipment. They ran to Santa and started to treat him. They injected him with something and put him on a stretcher. They lifted him up and carried him to the sleigh. They looked at Jake and said, thank you for saving Santa. We'll take him to the hospital and make sure he's okay. Jake was speechless. He watched as they loaded Santa onto the sleigh and took off. He was about to follow them when one of the elves came back and handed him a letter. It was from Santa. It said, Dear Jake, Thank you for finding me and helping me. You are a true hero. I'm sorry I couldn't finish my job tonight, but I have a favor to ask you. Please take my sleigh and deliver the rest of the presents to the children of the world. I know it sounds impossible, but trust me, it's not. You see, my sleigh has a secret feature that allows me to travel through time and space. It's called the Time Warp Multiplicity Trick. It works like this. When you activate the sleigh, it creates a time warp that slows down time for you, but not for the rest of the world. This means you can deliver thousands of presents per second without anyone noticing. It also creates multiple copies of you and the sleigh, so you can be in many places at once. This way, you can cover the whole planet in a matter of minutes. It's very simple to use. Just press the green button on the dashboard and say the name of the country you want to go to. The sleigh will take you there automatically. The reindeer know how to work the sleigh, so you don't have to worry about that. You just have to focus on the in and out chimney maneuver. It's easy. Just hold the red lever and pull it down when you want to go down a chimney and push it up when you want to go up. The sleigh will do the rest. You'll be fine. If 300-year-old Santa can do it, so can you. Please, Jake, do this for me. Do this for the children. Do this for Christmas. I'm counting on you. Your friend. Santa Claus. Jake read the letter and felt a surge of emotion. He felt honored, scared, and excited at the same time. He looked at the sleigh and the reindeer. He looked at the letter and the presents. 
He looked at the sky and the stars. He made up his mind. He was going to do it. He was going to be Santa for a night. He climbed onto the sleigh and put on the red hat and the white gloves. As soon as he put on the Santa hat, Jake noticed he suddenly had a large white beard and a thick red coat. As he yelled out Merry Christmas, he heard the words in Santa's voice. Jake realized Santa has an image that must be maintained, and the hat transformed him into Santa. He grabbed the reins and said, Ho ho ho! Let's go! He pressed the green button and said, Canada! The sleigh zoomed into the air and disappeared into the night. And so, Jake began his amazing adventure. He delivered presents to every country, every city, every town, every house, every child. He went through the time warp and the multiplicity trick. He went up and down the chimneys. He ate the cookies and drank the milk. He laughed and smiled and wished everyone a Merry Christmas. He had the time of his life. He finished his task in less than an hour. He returned to Yellowstone and landed the sleigh. He unloaded the last present and gave it to a sleeping bear cub. He petted the reindeer and thanked them for their help. He took off the hat and the gloves and left them on the sleigh. He wrote a note for Santa and said, I did it. I hope you're proud of me. Merry Christmas, Santa. Get well soon. Your friend, Jake. He walked back to his truck and drove home. He felt happy and proud and tired. He couldn't wait to tell his family what he had done. He couldn't wait to see their faces. He couldn't wait to celebrate Christmas with them. He arrived at his house and opened the door. His wife asked, how was your day, honey? He replied the usual. He saw his wife and his kids waiting for him. They hugged him and kissed him and said, Merry Christmas, Daddy. We missed you so much. We have a surprise for you. They led him to the living room and showed him the Christmas tree. Under the tree, there was a huge pile of presents. Jake was stunned. He looked at the tags and saw they were all from Santa. He opened one of them and found a new watch. He opened another one and found a new jacket. He opened another one and found a new camera. He opened another one and found a letter. It said, Dear Jake, Thank you for being Santa for a night. You did a wonderful job. You saved Christmas. You made me proud. You made the children happy. You are a true hero. I'm very grateful to you. As a token of my appreciation, I decided to give you and your family some extra presents. I hope you like them. You deserve them. You are a good man, Jake. A good husband, a good father, a good ranger, a good friend. I'm glad I met you. I hope we can meet again someday. Until then, take care of yourself and your family. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Your friend, Santa Claus. Jake read the letter and felt tears in his eyes. He looked at his wife and his kids and felt love in his heart. He looked at the presents and felt joy in his soul. He smiled and said, Merry Christmas, Santa. Merry Christmas, everyone. He hugged his family and they hugged him back. They opened the rest of the presents and had a wonderful time. They had the best Christmas ever. The End A blizzard's brewing, snowflakes falling from the sky. Santa in his sleigh, flying oh so high. But suddenly it's trouble, oh no one to fly. Santa's sleigh goes.